how are you? I'm doing good. So I am um, checking in with you today because I want to talk about how do you stop the hamster wheel, right? So the hamster wheel, you just keep going and going and going and doing the same thing over and over and over again. And part of that is balance, life um life balance, right? And there's two ways to be unbalanced. You have a season of unbalance and a lifestyle of unbalance. And so first of all, what is a season? Right? What is a season? Um, well, if you live where I live, you have winter and road construction. Okay. So on a more serious note, nah, I'm not going to be that much more serious. Um, we have four seasons here, right? So we have spring, summer, fall, winter. And with that, each has its own uniqueness. For example, spring, if we start with spring, it is a period of rebirth or birth, depending on where you are in the cycle, right? How many times springs come around for you? Um, then you have summer, which is more of that tending to everything. And then you have the cultivating and the harvesting and when or harvesting in fall. And then you get your chance to rest in winter, right? And so you have your four seasons and each has its own um, purpose. And Nature shows us that we need different seasons in our life. If you want to come from a biblical perspective, right, then you've got your six days a week and on the seventh day, um, God rested. And so he worked and worked and worked and he had different seasons. If you think about each day, day in the Bible, right, um, in the book of Genesis, each one of those is a season. He created the heavens and the earth. Season one, right? Season two, <laughs> plants and animals, right? Um, and I'm really condensing the seasons here because uh, you've got your land and your sea and your stars and your skies and your lights and all of that. Um, but you can kind of just see the groupings, right? And then you have your humans who he created last. Um, so... That is interesting, right? So we have all these different pieces. And then on the seventh day, he rested. And so that's kind of a rhythm. So you can think of seasons also as like a rhythm. Um, if you look at um, biology, human biology, actually animal biology works very similar in this fashion, um, especially a woman's biology, you've got her cycle, right? So she's got a creating and growing while the endometrium is growing and preparing itself. Um, and then you have um, her ready to give life, right? And then you have a period of rest. And so then again, another cycle, another season. But then also the amazingness of women, you have your pre- um, your pre-ability to have children, your ability to have children, and then your season of rest after. And so then, like I said, you have all of these different kinds of seasons to, um, to tap into. So what is, is a season? How long is the season? I've kind of already established that. Um, you have your natural seasons. I've heard that three years is a season. After that, it's a lifestyle. And so, okay, I'm doing a hustle. I'm in a season of hustle. But if you're perpetually in a season of hustle, you're not in a season. You're just in a habit of being in hustle. And quite possibly burning yourself out. Yep, that's right. I have burnt myself out multiple times because I like <laughs> to be in a season of hustle perpetually. And so I've done it over and over and over and over again. 
And I have to continue to pull myself back and not be in a perpetual state of hustle. Um, and so how do you get out? You get out of the season or get through a season, right? Through a season or out of a lifestyle. And one of those key areas is um, discipline. You discipline yourself. There is a purpose. Even if the season was thrust upon you because it was some major expense, mine are always financial examples because that is why um, Ula has, that's where Ula has helped me a lot. Um, but you could have a season of medical issues. You could have a season of um, financial crisis, right? So those are all things that can be thrust upon you. Or it could be a season of choice. Like I am starting a new business. I am going to be an entrepreneur. I'm doing a side hustle, right? And again, again, I was, you got to differentiate between doing a side hustle and a perpetual state of being in hustle. So, um, and you have to fit in that bridge where you're still working your regular job to pay your bills because your side hustle is not in that space where it can um, be, right? So where it can be, uh, how do I say? Financially supportive, there you go. <laughs> so anyway, we've got these different ideas. So discipline, um, look forward to my article. I'm kind of excited that I um, was given this great information to use. And so there's an article coming out soon. And then on the discipline side of things, one thing, and I forgot to bring it um, over, and I don't see another copy laying around. Uh, close by <laughs> is a three by five card. And so in Ula, we talk about um, oranges and Skittles. So on one side is oranges. Those are the things that you do to move your life forward in your planned direction. Those are the things that are get you off the hamster wheel, that will stop the hamster wheel, that will get you out of this dun, 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 part of life, right? And then you have your Skittles. That's the part that you're like, got to pick up the kids, got to do the laundry, got to cook the dinner, you got to go to the dentist, um, go to the chiropractor, things like that. Um, all of those things that the have to get it done. And so oranges, if you fill a base, right? Let's say that base is your um, life, your time for the day right? Because we all have a finite time of day and what you do with it is your choice, right? And if you fill it with the Skittles first, so all those um, mundane tasks or in Japanese, it's called mara. I just learned that from um, James Cooper and Six Figure Storytellers. And so I love that with the mara. And you dump your Skittles in there. You won't have room for the oranges. You can't put the oranges in there. Or you can get a couple of them done and that'd be great, right? A couple is better than zero, but if you fill it up with Skittles, then you have a zero space for oranges. But if you are disciplined to get your oranges done first, right? Your oranges done first, then you can fill in the Skittles around the oranges. Then you will move your life forward then you will stop the hamster wheel because you will be designing your life, not life designing your choices. So I like to say you get to choose your life instead of life choosing for you. So a season of unbalance is a short time, either purpose or unpurposeful, where your life is out of whack and out of balance. And that is okay. Let me repeat that. That is okay. The goal is to have an end time for that. If you are in a life of unbalance, 
That is not okay. You need to get out. You need to stop what you're doing to make a difference and to make a change. Again, discipline is going to rock your world to make that happen. Be grateful, have faith, and go get your ULA life.